Planning a full week of lessons can take hours of prep, but what if you could map out five days in under five minutes? In this video, I'll walk you through how I used EdCafe AI to create a full five-day lesson plan, plus some quick interactive resources to share with students based on those lessons. To get started, I use the website EdCafe AI. It's free to sign up and create an account, and once you're inside, you'll get access to a whole bunch of different tools. I'll cover some of these later to add on to our lesson plan, but for now, let's just stick to that lesson plan to make those five different lessons. So normally, generating five different lessons for a whole week can take an entire weekend. However, with EdCafe, I can generate that in just a couple minutes and have time to edit and adjust to my own teaching style. So when you're inside here, we can just add in our topic that we want to create our lessons on. If you also would like, you can paste in a text, add a web page, or use a file instead of using that topic. But we're just gonna stick with that topic and then we can also add in any additional instructions. So feel free to be as specific as you would like. For now, we just want to plan five lessons to span the week for our fifth grade. Then let's make sure we check so that we can get some lesson resources from Google and be sure to add in our NGSS standards. That way we don't have to worry if our lessons meet those requirements or not, it's already added inside. Then we can generate our lesson. Ad Cafe will take time generating all the different lessons for each one of those days. But we can scroll through and view everything that is included in our lesson plan. So we have lesson one, some objectives, we see that it's aligned to those standards, some different vocabulary, and some different online resources along with the whole lesson procedure. And that is reflected again for all five lessons. So we have one document here that includes the lesson for all five days. And you'll notice too that these online resources are all viewable. So you can click on any of these to go ahead and take a look at any of those specific resources to use in class. Back over in our lesson plan feature, we can also review and take a look. And if there's any edits that we want to make, you can do it right inside of this block. So see that we can just enter and adjust just like it was any other document. However, if we want to be a little bit more specific, we can always go back to regenerate. So maybe in our additional instructions, we want to include things for our early task finishers and having a time breakdown on each one of those lesson plans for how long we should spend on each different thing. So from there, now we can generate again. And it was a little bit quicker this time, so we can review and see that in our lesson procedure, we also have some time breakdowns here, and then we have some different tasks to use for all of those different finisher levels in our class as well. Much better. We now have a full complete lesson plan for a full week with those five different lessons. Let's give this a save so that we don't lose it and we can refer back to it or make some other resources. So once it has a name, we can also select a specific folder to put it in and save that file. From here, you'll be able to export it in any of these formats as a Word or a Google Doc to use later. And at any time, go back in and edit, or you can translate if you need it in different languages for your classroom too. To fully complete your lesson prep, we can use each one of these lessons to further create resources for teachers and for your students. So let's start by creating a presentation. So we already have our lesson, now we need the presentation to deliver our content. So what we can do is we can just copy our lesson one here, and then in our create new, let's go to slide deck. And from here, we can just paste in our whole lesson plan, add in any additional instructions, your slides, pick a theme and generate, and you're ready to go. Review your presentation, edit it as needed, and then you can give it a quick save to save it in your library, and then you can export it as a Microsoft PowerPoint or a Google Slide, so that way you can present and edit further. For a further in-depth tutorial on the Slide Deck Maker, take a look at the video linked up above. Next, each lesson already comes with a vocab list. We can use that list to create flashcards so that students can study those new terms right away. So just like with our presentation maker, let's copy our vocab words. Then we can go into flashcards and we just, same thing in our text, we can paste in those vocab words, pick which kind of template you want to use. Let's stick with term and definition and then just generate those flashcards. 
Same thing as before, review, edit, adjust any of these vocabulary words. You can even add audio. And once it's saved, you can then share it with students. That way they can begin practicing those new terms. So when you share it with students, again, you can export it as a hard copy, or you can share it with them digitally. That, they, that way they can review on their own devices on their own time. Now that we have the lesson plan, the presentation to present with, and flashcards for students to study, let's generate an assessment to share with students so that way we can check their understanding after class. So let's take that same info, our lesson one or two or three or four or five, depending on which one you want to use, and we can copy that. And in our Create New, let's do quiz, same thing text, just paste in that lesson plan, select which kind of question type you'd like, the number of questions, and generate that quiz. I know I'm going through this pretty quickly, so if you want more information on the quiz feature, take a look at the video linked up above. But once everything's generated, take a look, review, edit, adjust the explanation, the questions, etc. Save it as a file in your AdCafe library, and then go ahead and share it with students. So you can share it digitally with students, so that way they can go ahead and take part in the quiz. As we can see here, they can go ahead, select each one of these, then they can submit their answers. And back on the teacher side, you're able to review all of those responses to keep an eye on how your students are doing. There are so many other tools and resources that you can use to create for your students, like the chatbot, a great way for students to learn on their own in a controlled, safe environment. So what I like is that everything stays in one place, your lesson plans, your slides, your flashcards, your quiz, even that chatbot if you want. No jumping across platforms to generate content and share it with students. And that's it. In just a few minutes, I've gone from a blank page to a complete five-day lesson plan, plus a presentation, flashcards, and a quiz ready to share with students. With that Cafe AI, you don't just save hours of prep time, but you also get those flexible resources that you can adapt to your teaching style and to your students' needs. Try it out for your next unit to cut down on planning time and boost your classroom engagement. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss another one of our videos on AI tech tips for your classroom.